Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, a lot has happened since the last episode and there's a lot to go over on the chaser. So, I dropped it off to Fast Eddie's, got all the paint work, the arrow, like all the custom work done and went to Week Fest, debuted the car and it was just a really busy, hectic like day. I didn't sleep at all and um, it, I just didn't have any time to vlog in the midst of like everything that was going on. But I think what we're gonna do today for this for today's episode is I'm going to be installing my new Nardi steering wheel that I ordered back in February and I and it got back ordered and I didn't get it until the day after the show, which is a bummer, but I'm gonna throw that in today and then pretty much do a big breakdown on everything that's been done to the car and uh, a lot hopefully a lot of cinematic and stuff too. But sneak peek. Here it is. So, how about we open up the box and get the Nardi out? I thought that was, like this box was my steering wheel, but I guess it's my, uh, intake I ordered too so I mean I guess that's exciting but I was more excited for my steering wheel really wanted my steering wheel where the fuck's my steering wheel it's been like months so all right well this turned into uh, air intake install and then breakdown of the car sorry about that so I'm gonna open that up and we'll install the intake So the HKS air intake is in. Um, that was actually a lot more annoying than I thought it would be. Um, it was really hard trying to get like all these brackets lined up with the intake, um, but it's in. And I'm just gonna start it up, make sure that it's good, and we'll go from there. So I just started it, and 
it sounds sick with the intake. So I'm gonna throw the camera on the tripod just so you guys can hear it. So you guys could see it. There's a really nice sunset right now and the car just looks really good. So how about we do some cinematic? good um, but let's get to it and do a breakdown on everything that's been done to the chaser this is an S2 front bumper and what a lot of people usually do is they cut out for the license plate so this was filled in um, and it wasn't filled in with like fiberglass or anything they actually cut out a section of um, another OEM bumper and used that and filled it plastic welded it all in the, this hat did get cut out, um, but I like that. And then they filled it in on the insides. And then this is a authentic Julius Type 2 front lip. The front lip had holes or slots here. So that was all filled in as well. And then these are, I forget the name of the uh, eyelids I got, but I want them off Yahoo Auction Japan and have them shipped straight from Japan. They were already paint matched. So, did the S2 uh, fog lights and wired in the, um, the new plugins for those. And I, I mean, I just really love the front end of the car. I think it looks really aggressive and I'm just really happy with how that work came out. Now, the windshield is tinted. It's a bronze from Omnique Tints. It is actually really dark. I think it's like 10% and that's, I, I didn't know that. And driving it at night is pretty difficult, but I do really like it. Um, I personally don't recommend it to other people though. But it looks really good. Um, I like the bronze a lot with the green and the chrome. Um, it kind of like, matches the uh, front badge that I put on the car. It's like a green gold. So these are completely one off and custom. So it started off as a set of mirrors that I won on Yahoo Auction in Japan as well. That has the uh, LEDs. The, these still have to be all wired in and stuff. And there's still final adjustments that Fast Eddies need to do to the mirrors since we ran out of time. But uh, we went with like that M3 style look. Um, and I think it just really sets off the car. And I just wanted to do something a little more different and unique. These are Vertex side skirts, authentic, ordered them through Jesse Streeter and had them shipped from Japan. It was kind of like a couple months wait, um, but they, they fit perfect. And to complement it, that's the Vertex rear bumper. I actually found that in, I forget where, uh, 
I actually found it in South Carolina, but the guy was, he travels for work. And I sent one of my friends down to Tennessee and he sold the bumper to me for pretty cheap. It was, it didn't need like a lot of work. Um, but Fast Eddie's was able to repair it and make it look brand new. And I'm really happy with how it looks with the side skirts and everything. It just it has a really nice flow to it. If this is your first time watching this video, I could go over this. This is a really rare, hard to find OEM roof spoiler that got, I got very lucky finding that on Yahoo Auctions. And this is also pretty hard to get because they only sell in Japan and they don't export outside of the country. So this is a high works trunk lid and my friend in Japan got it for me and shipped it. But it's one of my favorites like parts of the car. It's just very subtle and it has like this body line. It just follows it really nice. These are D-Max S2 taillights. I do have other taillights that I do want to test on the car. That I've, this is actually one of the first parts I've had on, I bought for the car and I haven't installed them yet. And these are really hard to get to uh, OEM gold badges which flows with like the theme I'm going with on the car. The wheels are TE37s, they're triple chromed. Um, I won them also on Yahoo Auction Japan and had them shipped straight to Lee Cruz in San Diego and then he triple chromed them. Um, fronts are nine and a half plus 22 with a 10 millimeter spacer and extended studs. The rear is 10 and a half plus 22, no spacers at all. I do have all serial nine adjustable control arms or like all the whole suspension. Um, and that was needed to fit these. Um, I did a very slight roll and pull on the rears and on the fronts to uh, get them to fit. And there's about 5.8 degrees of camber all the way around. It's matching. So I think one thing that I really do like is that, you know, the camber is aggressive, but it flows with the kit and it almost kind of like hides it. I, I don't know, I'm just really happy with the way that the car has turned out. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. I do have some interior stuff that's coming in still like that. The steering wheel that I thought I was gonna that that I thought I got, and um, a new climate control unit that's really nice, and I plan on reclearing all of my um, carbon fiber interior trim just to like freshen everything up on the inside. But I want like a really clean, simple like interior that just kind of like ties in the car, but. There you guys have it. This is my Toyota Chaser and I have envisioned this for years. Even before I got my Laurel, I really wanted a Chaser, but I, I really wanted like a JZX100. And at the time, um, I just decided to get the Laurel and wanted to try out, you know, RB and um, kind of get my four door sedan, like JDM sedan fixed with the Laurel and that just made me really want a JZX100 even more. So it's it's crazy that, you know, I I got this car, it, probably in a couple weeks, it'll be two years that, since I've owned it. And I've been just collecting parts and pretty much plotting out how this car looks. And I really just, I can't thank Fast Eddie's enough that they were able to execute like my vision. So. If you guys are watching from Fast Eddies, thank you guys so much for this. And if you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot and I really, really appreciate it. So uh, I think this kind of wraps up the episode. And for the next one, I really hope it's the steering wheel. So comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.